Hi, I'm Dr. Sky from VitaLab and today we'll be discussing multiple gestations. In the light of a recent allegation that a lady in Pretoria has given birth to 10 children. So don't worry, it's not going to happen to you. Um, what causes multiple gestations? So, risk factors are women over the age of 35, if you've got four or more children already, if you are taller or have um, an increased weight, and then if you have a family history. So, if as a woman, you are a twin, a non-identical twin. You have a one in 60 chance of having a twin yourself. And if you're a man, you have a one in 125 chance of having a twin if you are a twin yourself. In terms of identical twins, those are sporadic and quite rare. So there are no risk factors for that. However, fertility treatment is a risk factor for both types of twins. Fertility treatment in the past was greatly associated with multiple gestations and nowadays much, much less so. So the reason for this is because we used drugs that stimulate your ovaries. So usually only one egg is released per month. During ovulation induction, we stimulate the ovaries to release uh, ideally one egg, but sometimes two. If there are more than one or two eggs, your fertility specialist should cancel your cycle to avoid multiple gestations. In terms of IVF, the recent recommendations suggest that a single embryo should be transferred whenever possible, and ideally a tested embryo that has normal DNA should be transferred. Why do we not want multiple gestation pregnancies? because they're associated with many risk factors. Number one, you're at an increased risk of developing preeclampsia. So preeclampsia is really high blood pressure in pregnancy, and it can be associated with seizures and blindness in the mother, as well as poor growth and early delivery in the baby, or babies. Um, in terms of gestational diabetes, you're also at risk. You can develop very high sugars, your baby can develop um, high sugars and can be quite large and you can have difficulty at delivery. So neither of these are desirable com complications. Um, the biggest problem is that multiple gestations are associated with preterm delivery. Did you know that more than 95% of triplets and quadruplets are born before 32 weeks? So at 32 weeks, your baby is only about 1.5 kgs, if that. And therefore, those babies end up in neonatal ICU and are at, at risk of getting brain damage, blindness, mental uh, disabilities, and even death. So we try to avoid these at all costs. So let's talk about the chances of this happening to you. So the incidence of twins is about 1 in 60, naturally. The incidence of triplets is about 1 in 10,000. The incidence of quadruplets is about 1 in 700,000. And more than that, we don't even have stats because it's so rare. In the past, ovulation induction was associated with an 80% risk of having a multiple gestation. IVF was associated with a 40% risk of having a multiple gestation. But nowadays, due to single embryo transfers and due to timed ovulation induction with regular sonar monitoring, those numbers are much, much less. If you come to Vita Lab, don't worry, you're not going to walk out with 10 babies. We are very, very careful and we will try and get you one healthy baby every time. 